Hi, welcome to Law for Small Business. In this video, I'm going to explain our product page and how to order an anonymous LLC. The first thing you'll see is the state. Well, there are several states available to obtain an anonymous LLC. Let's remember what an anonymous LLC is. It's a regular LLC where ownership information is not made available at the Secretary of State's website. So there's only a few states in the United States that permit this. And one of the three that we provide is either New Mexico, Wyoming, or Delaware with different pricing. New Mexico is generally the most popular. And the reason for that is they tend to have great privacy rules and they don't require annual reports. So therefore, there's no ongoing annual fee, at least with the state of New Mexico. Delaware is also very popular, but we have been um, advising clients to avoid Delaware because they're under a lot of pressure by the uh, federal government to change their laws. And so it runs the risk that you may have to um, change or switch companies if the laws of Delaware change anytime soon. Finally, Wyoming is actually very popular, and Wyoming does not have corporate income tax. But you have to look at it from the context of how are you taxing your company? If it's going to be a pass-through entity, which most LLCs are, you don't care about corporate income tax because you're going to record any profits of the company on your personal taxes. Um, so what is the advantage of Wyoming over New Mexico? Not much, other than Wyoming has passed the Revised Uniform Limited Li Liability Company Act, which does provide certain benefits for sole member LLCs, um, primarily relating to debt. So if you think your LLC may be dealing with debt issues, Wyoming might be a good state. Otherwise, New Mexico is generally preferred. Let me explain the standard options. Every LLC must have a registered agent. This information is public information. Therefore, it makes sense for you not to be your own registered agent. You should have somebody like us, which would help protect your privacy. Furthermore, as attorneys, we can provide a level of attorney-client privilege and confidentiality. So we recommend you select us for your registered agent. The virtual mailbox is an interesting one. Let me explain something. Every LLC must have a virtual mailing address. Uh, let me rephrase that. They must have a physical mailing address. The physical mailing address is public information. So it could be any address in the world, but it can't be a P.O. box. And if you use an address that can be traced to you, you could potentially destroy your anonymity. So what's very popular are UPS stores that provide a street address for the box that you purchase, or we as a law firm provide a, what we call a virtual mailbox service for $40 a month. It is optional. You don't need it from us. I'll tell you, we don't lock you into a contract and you can cancel uh, at any time. The, um, the, the downside is, is our pricing is a little bit more than I think what you can get at a UPS store. So you might want to shop around before making a final purchase. Uh, I will say that a lot of people will select us initially and then find something more convenient or less expensive down the road. Um, it's perfectly fine to change your physical mailing address with a company or an LLC later. But I want to warn you that there's some fees associated with that. The states have their own fees. They're not a lot, $25 to $50. Um, and if you don't want to do it yourself, we're happy to do it. And we have a flat rate fee of $75 to do it. So let's talk about some of the other options. An FEIN, that stands for F Federal Employee Identification Number. You can actually get this for free if you go to irs.gov. Uh, don't do it until you already have your LLC in place. Uh, we charge $50 if you want us to do it for you. Um, and a lot of people choose to have us help just for convenience sake and also so we can answer questions and help guide customers. But it is an option. It's not required. A digital certificate is exactly what it sounds like. It's a PNG and JPEG or JPG file that will give you, and it's a really attractive gold and black and white uh, image that you can insert on documents to give uh, an authentic feel to documents that you create for your company. The certificate of incumbency, these are optional and not legally required. 
We provide them, however, for two reasons. One is um, some of our clients have said that the certificate of incumbency that we provide, uh, which we notarize and is in our uh, letterhead, uh, has helped them open up bank accounts and deal with vendors. Um, the other certificate of incumbency by the company is just a word template that you can use when you want to try and authenticate or prove ownership. But I'll tell you, neither one of these are legally required. What is legally required is the articles of organization that we will provide as part of our service, as well as the operating agreement, which you will also get as part of your service. Uh, so this is optional. The other question we get often is, could you come back and pay for a certificate of incumbency later, maybe after you've purchased the LLC? And the answer is no. And the reason for that is what we are testifying to is that we know ownership at the time of formation. If you ask us to do it later, we may not know what owner the ownership is, and it would take quite a bit of work for us to figure that out. Uh, finally, uh, there's an ebook, and this is a fairly popular item for a lot of people uh, that we do not offer uh, freely on our website. This is something that you would have to purchase if you're interested. Finally, let's talk about expedited options. Uh, in general, we put the time frames of what we see from the Secretary of States. Uh, every state seems to be a little different. Um, Delaware uh, is the big one. And Delaware will take about seven to 10 days if you do not rush. If you do rush, it's a 24 hour uh, next day service and um, it's, it's pretty extreme. Uh, New Mexico and Wyoming are about the same where we're seeing five to 10 days if you don't rush and um, one to five days if you do rush. Now I will tell you both with both states, Wyoming and New Mexico, we're finding that people who uh, don't rush are still getting their service pretty quickly. But if you want to um, help ensure you get faster service, you do want to rush. Uh, what we do here is we move your order to the top of the stack, so we start working on it immediately. And then if there's any rush fees, that doesn't always happen. If we can file it electronically, there won't be a rush fee, but um, we still use that money to um, expedite the order and all kinds of interesting things can happen. Uh, there's been times where we'll file electronically, then I'll get rejected for some reason, then we have to send in the paperwork manually, and then we want a FedEx it so that we can get it done quickly. So that's why there's a rush fee here. It's for, for our work as well as any fees we need to spend with the state. So once you decide whether you wanna rush or not, let's, for our sake of the argument, we're gonna rush, we're gonna ask for an FEIN, and um, the other thing I want to mention about the FEIN, by the way, is you do need it to get a bank account. You cannot have a bank account without a FEIN for the LLC. Now, what we get asked a lot is, will you have to disclose your personal information to the bank in order to uh, open up a bank account? And the answer is yes. And the reason for that is that the banks have a lot of federal rules uh, that require them to know who they're doing business with. So the trick is you open up a bank account in the name of the LLC. The LLC will be the owner and uh, you will be a signer, not an owner. And that does affect um, whether your personal information is available in a nationwide search, for instance. And my understanding is it would not be. Um, at any rate, that concludes this screen. Uh, if you want to order, you'd simply add it to the cart and check out as normal. Now I will tell you, once you do that, this order will go to our paralegal staff. We're gonna send you a questionnaire after this order, and we're going to ask you, what do you wanna name it? We have a few other questions um, that we will help you through to make sure that you get the right LLC for what you need. And if there's any issues or our paralegals have trouble, they're gonna to escalate to a lawyer. Uh, but I'll tell you, our, our paralegals do this a lot, and they're very, very good. Um, that concludes this video. Don't forget to call us, or if you have any questions, you can find us on the web at l4sb, for lawforsmallbusiness.com, and our toll-free number is 888-992-4952. 
please call us at any time if you have any questions. At our website, you can go to contact us and you can send in a form or you can email us. We look forward to doing business with you. Thank you.